Hey there, fellow rock and stone enthusiasts. Welcome back to Joystick News where deep dives into gaming are just as thrilling as a drop pod ride into Hox's Roman 4. Today, we're gearing up and diving headfirst into the bullet hell chaos of Deep Rock Galactic, Survivor, to bring you the ultimate gunner builds guide. Whether you're a solo player looking to hold down the fort or part of a team aiming to maximize firepower, these builds are going to make you a Glyphid's worst nightmare. So, let's get into it. The Gunner, a deep dive. First off, the Gunner in Deep Rock Galactic, Survivor, isn't just your run-of-the-mill heavy weapons guy. With access to all projectile weapons in the game, the potential for unique and powerful builds is enormous. From the classic Lead Storm-powered minigun to brand new additions exclusive to Survivor, the arsenal at your disposal is nothing short of impressive. Build 1, the Engineer X-Gunner Combo. This build is all about synergy and firepower. Combining the relentless assault of the Lead Storm minigun with the precision of the M1000 Classic and the strategic placement of the LMG gun platform, you're essentially turning the battlefield into a no-fly zone for anything with more legs than you. The Lok 1 Smart Rifle's focus on high health targets means you can concentrate on shredding through the horde while your automated buddies pick off the big bads. It's like having your cake and eating it too, with explosives. Build 2, the All Sides Covered Build. Ever felt like you needed eyes on the back of your helmet? This build has got you covered, literally. With a combination of the Lead Storm Minigun, Zhukov Nux 17, Sabata 120, and BRT 7 Burst Fire Gun, you're laying down a 360-degree barrage of dwarf-made death. This setup is all about keeping the bullets flying and ensuring that every possible angle is a death trap for enemies. It's like being the center of a very angry, very lethal hurricane. Build 3. The High Damage Stationary Build Now, for those of you who like to plant your feet and make a stand, this build turns you into a veritable fortress. With the Bulldog Heavy Revolver, Thunderhead Heavy Autocannon, BRT-7 Burst Fire Gun, and the game-changing Seismic Repulsor, you're not just defending a position, you're defining it. This setup requires a bit of level grinding to get right, but once you do, you'll be dishing out damage like it's a company mandate. Build 4, Directional Damage at its Finest. This build is a love letter to precision and controlled chaos. By focusing on aimed weapons like the Lead Storm Minigun and Warthog Auto 210, complemented by the jury-rigged Boomstick and Deep Core GK2 for close encounters, you're essentially turning into a tactical nightmare for the bugs. It's a build that rewards skill and precision, making it perfect for those who like to engage with the game on a more challenging level. Build 5. The True Tank Build Last but certainly not least, this build is for those who want to walk into the fray and walk out like it was just another day at the office. Combining the raw power of the Bulldog Heavy Revolver, Lead Storm Powered Minigun, Thunderhead Heavy Auto Cannon, and Warthog Auto 210, you're not just tough, you're practically invincible. With a focus on maximizing health, armor, and damage output, you'll be the rock-solid foundation your team can rely on. Wrapping up. There you have it, fellow dwarves, five gunner builds that will make your next excursion into Hox's Roman IV not just a mission, but a statement. Whether you're looking to rain down lead, stand your ground, or support your team with strategic firepower, there's a build here that's tailored just for you. Remember, the key to a great build is not just the gear, but how you use it. So experiment, adapt, and find the setup that suits your playstyle best. And as always, rock and stone. If you enjoyed this guide and want more deep dives into the best builds, strategies, and tips for Deep Rock Galactic, Survivor, and beyond, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Until next time, keep those barrels hot and those beards longer. Rock and stone, everyone.